All right, finally time for the slacking raid, fellas. Or no, what? <laughs> okay, well, good start. The Tauros raid. I'm sure I won't misclick any wrong moves after that start. Um, the team we're rocking with, like play Sableye, pretty similar. It's just the same Pokemon is still so good. Uh, Prankster, Will O Wisp, Reflect, Turbo good. Uh, we got Metagross, Rocking, Leftovers, Hammer Arm, Iron Defense is going to be important. We've got Strafty with Bulk Up, Citrus Berry, Drain Punch. Those are the relevant moves. Reuniclus, Iron Defense, Calm Mind, Stored Power. Chillin' Berry is actually the most interesting item I've put on this set, though. I will say. Uh, I, I, just, I decided to just go for this. I think it'll be an interesting one if it if it comes up. Uh, it weakens the normal type attack. One normal type attack hit by the Pokemon. I think that, that like weakening the first attack, hitting this, honestly really allows it to set up Iron Defense and, and get set up and get strong. Um... Ooh, the Zodiac Dragon outfit sold, which is kind of crazy, actually, already, which is cool. I think it'll be an interesting, interesting item to use here. We're going to invite Rumel back once he logs back on. Uh, other than that, we've got Hippo. Hippo's not going to be super... I mean, it, it'll be unkillable, but at the end of the day, like, it's, I don't think it's going to do much against this raid. It'll be unmovable, unkillable, but not really do too much damage. But it's just kind of in the background, whatever. And then my Shiny Rampardos. This raid should be pretty easy. I think just these four Pokemon should be plenty to do this raid. It's kind of my thought process, so... Anything extra, I, I'm super, super okay with. We'll see how it goes. All right, now we should actually be finally ready to jump into the raid. Everybody join the queue. Good luck, good luck. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, that was an interesting, that was a weird bug to see the queue get messed up like that. All right, here we go. Here's the fight itself. What adds are ideal? We got Bastiodon and Camera Up starting. We've got Triple Sableye. Okay, so one of us can go for will o on Tauros and the other both go for screens. One go for Reflect, one go for Light Screen. Um, I can go ahead and go for Light Screen. I get go for like the least important one. If that's okay with everybody else. Rumel going for Will-O-Wisp. I think, I think I'm just going for... Yeah, I'll go for Light Screen. Okay. Want to make sure. I got Burn. Yep. Works, works, works. Thank you so much. Reflect goes up. Light Screen goes up. Try memes with Conqueror. Dude, I think Conqueror is a super underrated PVM Pokemon right now. I, yeah, I would love to see Conqueror. I think Conqueror could be super good. I like that pick a lot. There's the rock slide. Honestly, chipping a lot of our Sableyes down. I'm probably going to hard switch on this next turn. In all honesty. Uh, I probably hard... Do I hard switch over to Metagross? Or do I hard switch to something else? Do we, do, we, do we all have to hard switch? What happens here? The triple Sableye lead is awkward. Um, I don't have foul play. Foul play is smart there. What are the odds they go for Zen Headbutt against me? Was it used already? What moves did we see from them? Basti, uh, we saw Iron Head, Rock Slide. Okay, I can just go Metagross here really safely into those moves. I'm gonna go hard Metagross. Thank you, thank you, Rumel. Good luck, good luck. Hippo, I, I know that you love your Hippo, Josh, and I really respect it, but that is not the right play here. <laughs> I, I really, really respect it, okay? There's the Rock Slide, should do very minimal damage. Oh no, poor Conk. No, Conk live. I think he's dead off that. Oh, he's a monster. Conk alive. Oh no, rip Conk. I think he's dead to his burn. That's so sad. Should have de-punched. Dude, you're, dude, how could you have been, you know, how could you have known? It's tough, man. Conkletter is, Conkletter is sick. Conkletter is cool. We got meta is gross, meta gross. Sableye tanked a lot there, which is nice. And poor Conkletter had to tank a lot there, unfortunately. I think I just go for iron defense here, right? Start setting up. I don't see why not. I'm going to go for it. No, <laughs> you're okay, Josh. You're okay. I know you just like your hippo. Hippo's like, it's a cool Pokemon. Set up a quick little iron defense. Got how many turns of reflect and light screen? Iron head versus Sableye tanking. Sableye tanking hard. Murkrow tanking hard. 
We got the Tailwind off, which is super nice. Thank you so much for the supportive moves, guys. Ironhead only doing 1.7. My Metagross, my Metagross has my leftovers, so it has one of my most important items. I want to abuse that if possible. Thanks for the sub, Dad Master. What's up? What's up? Scizor coming in. I'm sure to go for Iron Defense here again. Probably worth to go plus six. Plus six Iron Defense just gets so insane. I feel like you're just so unkillable. I feel like it's super worth. I don't know if we have any like cr much crazy crit chance from Tauros besides the normal one out of 16. Tauros was Leech Seated. Iron Defense goes up. We got double Iron Defenses popping off. Plus four, plus four. What's the Scizor moveset? Scizor for CC doing 4.8. Superior tanks, all the hits, Dream Superior. That did a lot. Damn, to, to damn, that was brutal to see. No, Scizor. This is a little. This is kind of a scary fight. I feel like we're we're gonna be fine for sure. Okay, it's, it's Wisp is gone, so we got to bring back in support if possible and set up another Will-O-Wisp. My brain is mush. Dude, Cav, you fought you fought like every single raid boss like six times, and it's day nine. I don't know how your brain wasn't mush day three, my man. You're you're fine, dude. You're, you're crazy, dude. Got Will-O-Wisp coming in. I'm just going to go for my third Iron Defense and get fully set up into plus six. I think it's worth it. Where Uniclus gets the psyched up. We got some psyched up strats. Dude, psyched up is actually easily my favorite strat that I've seen during this event now. That shit is so cool. But he's about to psych up and copy one of our Metagross's plus six defense. Psyched up, dude, psyched up is so cool. Psyched up is so cool against these bosses, against the raids. For those that don't know, Met Metagross can run it too. Oh shit, I feel like I might as well have it at the moment. I should get one then. Met yeah. For those that don't know, psyched up is just a move that copies. Um, a target Pokemon, 9.9% .9 straight up from the Sacred Sword. God damn. If you just got teams of six Glades apiece, you would Sacred Sword and just destroy the Tauros. Um, Psych Up allows you to copy a Pokemon's stat changes. So if you bring in a Reuniclus, you can just Psych Up and copy a plus six defense Metagross, giving it plus six defense in one turn versus the three turns. Oh no, Reuniclus, please. Okay, the Psych Up, that should allow it to live, even though it took a lot of damage there. Come on. Okay, now it's... And the leech seed towards it is huge. Does it have lefties? Um, the plus six defense. Okay, that Runiclus, even though it's 27.8%, Rumel's so smart, this is unkillable now. Un actually unkillable. Even though it's 27% HP. Actually unkillable. Um, Reflect is down too if we care about that, but I don't know what the meme is. Yeah, dude, you're on, you know what you're doing. Um, I'm good to just go ahead and start going for either Hammer Arms or Meteor Mashes. I kind of like going for Meteor Mashes, but I don't know. 20% chance to raise attack is not that high. I don't, I, we have, I'm going to go for me. I, li I, I like Meteor Mash. I'm going to go for it. It might be dumb. It might be better to just go for... Okay, I miss anyway. Oh, no. My Meteor Mash hit. Okay, the other guy. Poor, uh, poor Benno missed. I don't know if Meteor Mash is worth, man. I'm going to be honest. Sableye tanks everything. Dude, this Runiclus. Runiclus is probably my favorite raid Pokemon, dude. It seems so good. Ooh, there's an Earth Power coming off. Okay. I I'm going to go for Hammer Arms. 100% chance is so low. So my group ran Ho Hone Claws. Yeah, I feel like Hone Claws. I actually agree. I feel like Hone Claws is just kind of better. I'm just going to go for Hammer Arm then. Well, if you set up, it's Hone Claws is relevant because if you set up one Hone Claws, you, uh, you, what's it called? You, um, your hammer arm becomes, because hammer's a 90% accurate move, I believe, right? Hone is worth 15k at the moment as a TM. That is too funny. Hone Claws went up in price as a TM because this event. Wow. That's really, really funny. Uh, I'm shooting a hammer arm. Yeah, hammer arm's a 90% accuracy move, so being able to. Increase the actually relevant, you know. Sable, I did so much. Set up the extra reflect. Tank to hit. Plus got the extra Will-O-Wisp off. 
that Sable I did so much. 4.3%. I will say, okay, I will say, my Hammer Arm did 4.3% versus my Meteor Mash doing 2.8. So it's a 1.5% damage difference. That's actually pretty relevant. 1.5% damage difference. Uh, I should kill this camera up. This thing's actually doing so much damage. I might go for that if that's okay with everybody. Because the earth power is annoying. I can EQ, right? Can I just EQ the... I'm just going to EQ here. Get camera up? Yeah, I feel like EQ should definitely kill it here. Like, the earth power is legit annoying. Oh, dude, this... Dude, poor Cav. Cav's been hard targeted this fight. Are you kidding? I've never seen... Cav is getting so targeted. Earthquake. I think that kills camera up, thankfully. Yeah, okay. That's nice. Because that earth power was a pain. We still do 1.6 to Tauros. We'll take it. Plus six defense. Okay. We have no screens up. No light screen. Okay. Light screen's down now, I think. Right. Gotcha. Gotcha. Mill tank came in. That's fine. We, we leave mill tank for sure. I feel like, right? I just go for hammer arm in a Tauros. I think I just go for damage in a Tauros. Still issue for Cav? I don't know about that. Rock slide hitting everybody for like 2% damage. No damage. Hopefully no flinches. I mean, that's the scary thing of the rock slide. The Miltic hammer arm's good. Iron defense. Okay, Cavs getting kind of set up. 6.2. That was from the home claws, Metagross. I do 3.9. It's, you know, it's honest work. Simple, honest work. I think Cav might live. Work up. Oh, shit. Stored power. 6.7. Huge. Oh, no. Flurry of attacks. I don't know exactly what that entails. Yeah, work up plus flurry of attacks is coming, boys. All the, all the lefties procs on the field are so funny. It's how you know we have our best Pokemon out. Cavs alive still, I believe. Oh <gasps> no! The Reuniculus. That's so sad. I thought I was so I was really hoping it lived at one HP, man. Dude, Cavs Metagross hanging on by a thread. We got this. We're hammer armoring it down, nice and slow. I feel like I feel like me the, all the meta the three triple meta go squad. It's so funny to see people do raids. The strategies are so funny to me. If we have an extra Will O Wisp in the back, it'd be nice. We're low on. We could light screen, I guess. Will O Wisp is just so good against all the physical attacking bosses. What's up, Caps Lock? I'm just gonna keep clicking hammer arm. Keep clicking hammer arm, doing my little 4% chip or so. The home claws almost at like 2% more, that's crazy. Yes, I, I definitely should have home claws on this Metagross. Yeah, like this guy's Metagross, like mine's plus attack nature, brave, 26 attack, like it's solid. Um. Yeah, mine's doing like 2% less damage. Even if it's 1%, like it's, yeah, home claws is super good, I feel like. Getting one home claws up to increase the accuracy of, of stuff is like from there's so many 90 percent attacks from metagross as well i'll check out my recent videos caps if you're looking for uh patch notes man i've covered them in videos okay okay toros almost dead 9.1 percent. just bring in dps boys just bring in your dps let's finish this uh let's finish the bull off good luck you know what, guys? I'm thinking about it for the first time. Oh, Cav is rest in peace. Um, good luck on a shelf, a raid shelf of bull, guys. This would be easily one of the coolest shelfas to have, in my opinion. A shelf of Tauros, man, would be super, super sick. It'd be one of the coolest ones to see. Or Scizor. 
4.1%. I don't know if... I, oh, I, I, guys, I don't know if I do enough damage there. But I thankfully somehow did. Was that a crit? I think he crit the... I think he crit the scissor. But they were shiny locked? No, I don't know where that information came from. These are absolutely not shiny locked. You absolutely can get a shiny. Someone got one. Um, these are absolutely not shiny locked. You absolutely can get a shiny from raids. Let's go ahead and... Um, Let's see the... Good luck, guys. Good luck, good luck. I mean... Okay, this Tauros is actually really good. Now, the th now the 31 special attack is useless, okay? The Jolly Nature is incredible. And it's just missing attack. It sucks that it's missing attack easily, like its most important stat. But having 31 speed Jolly... This is a... And like all the other stats, the, third, the special attack is useless. But this is a really good Tauros. That's actually... This is probably the best... Um, this is probably this. I need to make a sheer force Tauros. This is probably the best uh, raid Pokemon I've gotten so far. So I'll happily take it. GG's guys. Thank you for the raid. That is Tauros taken care of. Hopefully this video was helpful or enjoyable. Make sure to like it and subscribe if it was. Dislike if not, that's totally okay. And have a great day. Good luck in your own raid. Thank you so much for watching until the very end of the video, and I hope it was a positive asset to your day. The same way everybody listed here is a positive asset to my day, going above and beyond and allowing me to make content every single day. Thanks so much for watching, and have a good one.